Medusa. The goddess with the snake hair. Okay, so explanation. This here is called sodium bentonite and it makes the best facial mask there is. It draws out all impurities. I also put it into my hair and um, I saw that other people they use that on the hair as well and it cleans the hair very well. Some people use sodium bentonite clay as a soap substitute which is excellent but there's a big but included. Um, you cannot wash that down your drain because it's going to clog up the entire plumbing. So I'm going to go outside. My husband has this container for later on when we go camping. Uh, this can be filled with hot water and then you can wash yourself outside. So I recommend to wash yourself outside on the either on the balcony, yeah, for people who don't have a garden, you know, this container is great. But if you have a garden, if you have a garden hose and you have a shower nozzle, some of these garden hoses have shower nozzles on it. Like a, like a they have different spray functions and a handle that squeezes like this. And I have a real good one that has wonderful shower. And so I'm going to probably use that one. But I recommend for everybody to wash your pets, particularly dogs, on the lawn with a garden hose and a nice shower nozzle that has a soft shower coming out and hook that up onto a regular sink I mean regular faucet and you have to adjust the temperature make it body temperature like 98 degrees Fahrenheit or 28-30 degrees Celsius and you have to feel it with your hand if it feels really comfortable and then you can shower your dog on the lawn with warm water and what I recommend, I recommend not to use soap for animals because soap is hard on their skin and they need their skin to have a natural grease on it. We should too as well of course but you know daily life with people, CEOs and stuff like this, you know how that is, they can't go through a routine every day that takes hours and hours with bentonite clay so they have to shower themselves with with regular detergents which are not good for the skin at all so luckily I don't have CEO meetings so I can use sodium bentonite and I can make myself uh, ivy blends or rhododendron blends in a blender with water and pour that over my hair and makes my hair really nice and it doesn't strip my scalp skin or hair off its natural fats which is very very important you want those natural oils on animal too and you know they need that they smell very good that smells very good the natural fats it smells musky it's really nice and <coughs> so I recommend to make uh, to take a ball like one of those balls you can get at the 99 cent store plastic ball you put a tablespoon of sodium bentonite powder into it you mix that with water in the ball you put like uh, a quart of water onto it you mix that very well let it sit a little bit, get the clumps out, massage the clumps out of the the solution and make it make it a muddy, nice water. 
and put some more hot water, warm water on it, mix it very, very well and then you massage that, you take a sponge, you soak the sponge up with this, you sponge the dog's face, ear, you, you go into the ears with, um, without excess water and you wipe inside the ear lining and everything, the dog's gonna love that. And you just uh, gently pour a little bit over the back and you sponge the dog with that solution and then you just rinse him off afterwards with the warm water and the garden hose and the nice shower nozzle. So this is very important to do this. That will also get rid of fleas, it gets rid of all kinds of skin parasites or all kinds, gets rid of, of all kinds of things, uh, ticks, um, lice, all kinds of stuff. And I recommend to all people, please bring your animals in the house. Wash them with the clay solution, like once a month if you want to, or once every three months, you know. Wipe your dogs or cats with a wet towel if you are worried about them being bringing some mud into the house and wipe them. You know, they can be clean just like you clean yourself. So take care of them. They're your children. And for anyone who doesn't want to do it, then give your dog to someone who will bring the dog or cat into the house. So it's very important. Never leave a dog outside. Dogs are social animals. They want to live with the family in the house, in the warm, cozy house. They want to be petted and loved, gently treated, you know, just like children. It's, it's exactly the same thing. So what I'm going to do later is I'm going to rinse this all out with warm water and I wished I could do a full body mask but that's kind of difficult here in this situation unfortunately we have neighbors who can see into our garden which is not so cool um, except by the cedar tree that's very wonderful but to get to the cedar tree I would have to walk there and then walk past their visual field and so I can't do that but um, the other house has more privacy I could I can do that better there so that's why Eckhart Tolle said money can buy you distance to your next door neighbors and that is a very big thing particularly for us because I like to run around naked and there's just no way here and um, maybe in the future I'll have a home where I can run around naked in my garden and and do mud packs on my whole body and stuff like this but yeah so this is already a, a nice beginning the Medusa hair treatment and you can see how my forehead is big and um, I find that horrific but um, that's why I have to hide it it doesn't look good at all I find it somehow bleak looking I don't know <coughs> so I could never have that hairstyling that other women have like out of the forehead and then long down like this would never work it's just, it just goes against my artistic instinct. So, <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to show, you know, it's how this dries onto the skin. And it dries on kind of like whitish almost. It starts out to be more like this here, like a greenish gray. I love that color. It's just, I have... I have such an affinity to this color, always had. And so when I found out about sodium bentonite and I read all about it on the internet, that's a, the, the best website is Eaton's 
earth that is absolutely amazing those articles by that guy Jason amazing amazing website they have so many articles on that website about all kinds of different clays and very informative and they're not even trying to sell anything it's just there for everybody to for their own information it's wonderful <coughs> and it's wonderful design the website's very aesthetic very beautiful i've already seen this a couple years ago and i was mesmerized by it but i was overwhelmed at that time with all these different clay options and i didn't know what to do then so the first start was with diatomaceous earth so i a couple years ago i got into that i decided okay i'm going to start with diatomaceous earth and and read all about it and and take that internally which i i am doing i'm taking that internally twice a day now i added the sodium bentonite once a day as well i take sodium bentonite after i get up <coughs> a, a large tablespoon in a plastic cup with pure water stir it let it stir it with a plastic spoon very important not cannot be in touch with metal because it it actually it adsorbs and absorbs metal elements and you don't want that into your body you don't want any excess metals or any kind of pollution so and that's why i my plea to anyone dealing with these clays is um let's keep this planet clean so that these resources this elementary resource clay which is a sedimentation from volcanic ash it is some those are elements that come from deep within mother earth those are extremely healing for us this is i this is beyond words okay this i'm serious i'm not kidding this is this stuff is this is almost extraterrestrial, which it is originally, you know, originally is from stardust. So when the Earth first formed, of course, all of these minerals that are coming from the infinite universe. And so it formed itself 4.3 billion years ago, the Earth formed, something like that. I think 4.5. Four something like that. 4.5 billion years ago, all of this formed itself from infinite stardust. And then <coughs> it bubbled and it bubbled inside. Then the Earth's crust built up and then volcanoes spit out again stuff from the inside. The magma then got into the air, became a, an ash. It rained down it's ash all over the planet and there are certain places where it is very concentrated like Montana and Wyoming those are the the vastest places where this sedimentation is occurring also the painted desert when you go to the painted desert you can actually see how the the shifting of the earth's crust has created these mountains painted mountains striped they are striped in different colors and and every one of those stripes is a different type of clay that contains different mineral content and it's precious beyond measure that stuff you know and we need to be good to this we cannot be polluting this planet any further you know we need to find um synchronicity solutions to live here on this precious planet and to find solutions that are that are for the planet and not polluting it so solar power is the answer okay i know a lot of people they don't want to hear it because it's not convenient for their companies because their companies are built on fossil fuels but 
you all of these people they're gonna cut their own throat if they continue to walk that old road into the abyss come back out of that you know and reform reform your production reform your company you know the Saudi Arabians are very intelligent people they have done that they know that uh, it is a not sustainable okay to keep with the petroleum with the oil and it the oil is running out also you know so obviously <coughs> our resources are not endless with whatever it is yeah and we don't want to destroy this precious planet so let's rethink and reform and you will later on not regret it you'll be so glad you did it medusa okay anyway i think i said what i wanted to say and so i recommend the clays i recommend to take them internally and externally and to wash things with it just wash them out outside and don't clog up your pipes um, diatomaceous earth actually is good for the pipes so that's a completely different clay diatomaceous diatomaceous earth also dissolves really fast in uh, a cup of I also use a plastic cup for that as well I don't want to contaminate that either but that this is a totally different type of stuff diatomaceous earth dissolves fast and it dissolves things too it also has wonderful minerals in it and it cleans the pipes so it has the opposite effect but bentonite and kaolin clays I would not flush that down into the drain pipe so I would wash that out outside in the garden you know with the garden hose. Already I Whoa. took my rinse shower outside with Whoa. hot water and I rinsed all Whoa. the clay mud for my hair and face and neck and I feel so rejuvenated and you can see I didn't even put makeup on my skin is nice and rosy and it feels like the the mud the bentonite the sodium bentonite drew all the sludge out of my skin and it caused the blood vessels to draw up more water and blood into the capillaries in order to clean everything out and detox everything and it's just unbelievably amazing I am thrilled now I am so on the healing path now and I recommend for all people to do the same my hair feels good the, the split ends don't feel dry after doing this mud treatment and it's really feels really awesome my hair still a little bit wet but feels really good it feels very clean and I didn't even need soap and it was so much fun to take a rinse shower outside with hot water I, I used to do this always at the other house because we had more privacy there but then the neighbor started to cut into the hedges we have very tall hedges like 20 feet high hedges there but the neighbors it was always a struggle with the neighbors because they um, for some reason they don't approve of this they don't think that's cool to have high hedges so it's not good you need to be far away from the next door neighbor hopefully if you can you know if you can afford it or if you get lucky you find a place that's somewhere like in the dead end street and further away from the other people and with like really high dense shrubs in between for privacy and just to have a beautiful view into green 
life, nature from planet Earth and instead of looking at someone's car. So <laughs> that's a whole lot better. But it was so much fun to, I found, finally found a blind spot here where nobody could see me and it was so much fun looking into the, the forest and seeing the squirrels and the blue jays and these other little dark blue birds and the zebra birds and oh, it's amazing it was so amazing it's kind of like being in nature and uh, doing skinny dipping in wild hot springs you know, that's my favorite activity by the way and I can't wait to get a van and go to all these amazing places and meet people who are hippie, who are cool with my haircut <laughs> and maybe we can meet Eric and Jax, that would be really nice and some other people, P.P. Peterson and the, the guy with, with the beautiful dog, sober so, what's his name? Uh, Van Living? The guy with the dog sober? Uh, Mike, right? Yeah. Yeah, Mike. So, that would be really awesome to meet these people. Those are sweet people. And, um, so, but you can also do something fun when you're at home. You can arrange things. And I was just thinking about maybe I, I'm going to write some kind of little pocket guide or something for people when they go travel in a motorhome or van or when or for someone who just doesn't have that much money in general or lives in a way where they can't afford to spend a lot of money or have that much luxury available so there are ways to make life really really fun and natural and I know because we have traveled for three years in a motorhome that's how I gathered incredibly precious information it was very tough but it was very interesting it was necessary for us because otherwise we would have had to take out a loan on the old house and then we it would have just been an exchange of houses and that would not have been too cool right so now we were able to save money that way and not have to pay any creditors that that's really really nice and you know if you inherit a house uh, you can really m turn this into something very, very useful. Very, you can make it grow for the future. You know, you can whatever you have and wherever you are, you can make something grow. You can. I'm even just how you spend ten dollars, like I said in my other video. You know, you have choices you have a lot of cho different choices and so there are ways to make life really fun even for people who live in a van permanently you know so you can go to hot springs you can really enjoy life to the fullest and there are wild hot springs that cost nothing my friends they all know this but there are a lot of people they don't know really how to live the art of living and they leave trash behind and that's why I'm asking everybody when you go to a natural resources wherever th that is please do not leave anything behind don't leave a stuffed teddy bear behind don't leave a bottle of coca-cola behind don't leave cigarette butts behind don't leave beer bottles behind, don't leave any kind of trash, any kind of item, condoms, I see all of this all, all over the place. And it's not fun for the life that shares these natural resources w with you. So it, 
whoever else comes there, if it's a bird, you know, or or an animal or a person, it's not fun for them to have to put up with someone else's trash. So pack your trash back in and just just be live in synchronicity with the wild places. And then everything is beautiful and great, you know. So and there are so many things you can do. There there are wild apple trees growing all over the place. And just um appreciate that and pick these apples in fall, yeah. In um late September, l late some apples already in early November actually. So depends on the apple tree species. But they're already around Halloween and so eat that and give this to kids instead of candy. And just you can turn your life around. You can make your life healthy and and f vibrant and full of appreciation and moving towards love and and prosperity. Prosperity is not just what you have in your bank account. Prosperity is in your head. You generate prosperity in your head and you're moving towards peace, love, kindness and and appreciation. That's a real huge keyword. They all talk about it. Napoleon Hill, um, Tony Robbins, Eckhart, they all talk about appreciation, how incredibly important it is. Thich Nhat Hanh talks about it. Appreciation for what we have, for the things around us, uh, for the living beings around us, for the non-living beings around us, for the plants, the minerals, the items, your own clothes, your body, your hair, you know, it is so incredibly important. So I just wanted to share these things and I wish you all the best. You guys take care.